So we have the dub of the day, Omari Spellman, Logan Murdoch, Kareth Burke here. <laughs> We're so happy to talk to Omari. You bring the sunshine into a room, Omari. You. you really do. Yeah. Right. Where do you get this happy-go-lucky sensibility about you? Oh, man. I don't mean to take it to a darker place, but, you know, coming from Cleveland, some of the things that I've experienced, um, my last year at Atlanta, how tough that was for me. Um, if I can make it through that, I don't see no reason to frown. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just trying to breathe um, positive energy, positive vibes to wherever I'm at. And, um, whatever energy you send out to the universe, I believe it comes back. So mm -hmm. um, just trying to stay positive at all times. Did you feel like a new man? Oh, definitely. Um, I haven't felt this good since like college. And I was like, oh. Not that long ago, but yeah, you're not that <laughs> old, bro. You know, I feel great. Do you feel like, you know, throughout your career, or even like you just said it through your life, do you feel like you were the one that had to bring the jokes to a maybe, uh, you know, a serious situation? Is that why you become, you think you're a jokester and you think that you have this personality? Honesty hour, you know what I mean? Let's get it, mm -hmm. you know? This ain't my first struggle with weight. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I've been a little bit heavier okay. in my right, life. Get to it. So, you know, when you're a little bit heavier, you always a target. Mm -hmm. So, I had to learn to shoot back. And then I got real good at shooting back. And then people <laughs> stopped shooting. When did you know you could roast? Well, <laughs> so this is what really, like, my dad is funny. Uh -huh. And he used to tag me, like, like, he would like wake up with a joke for me. So like, <laughs> then it would be like, all right, I'm gonna beat him. Like, he don't know it, but I got something for him. Like, and then I just started kind of competing with my dad, like on jokes. Like me and my dad have the longest connect for rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, it's like, I just wanted to beat my dad. And so jokes, connect for basketball. Like the first time I beat my dad in basketball was like my junior year of high school, lost my mind. Like it was, to me, it was like, like one in the finals. But like that was the apex for me as a junior in high school. Like state championship, nah. I just want to be my dad one on one. So like, um, yeah, that's where I get it from. I'm literally, if you ask anybody, I'm just like my dad. Yeah, for real. And why was it? Was your dad really good at who? Why was that very important to you? My dad was a D1 athlete. My mom was a D1 athlete. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, like, he was super nice. Like, he averaged, like, 30 in high school, something I never did. Played at Youngstown State. Was a scorer. So, like, he's always been good at ball. So, like, when I like, I looked up to my parents, like, mm -hmm. idolized him. I beat my mom when I was probably, like, 12. But, like, she wasn't playing for real. Like, she... She didn't really care. Yeah. Like, with my dad, it would be like, we in that joint jab stepping, like talking junk, like, nah, you're definitely not winning. Like, <laughs> like so it was like, that was big for me. Was it both your parents at Young, Youngstown State? Yes, sir. Okay, and I saw you've had a sister at Michigan State. Michigan you State. You have a brother at Temple. Temple. This whole family is just yeah. athletes. Yeah. What was the competition like? You, you've talked about it a little bit, but the competition growing up in your home, hopefully all in good fun, this competition, so, man, but, but raising that level together. So we all ended up playing for, matter of fact, let's take it further back. Me, like since I was like seven up to like probably like 11, 12 when I was living in Cleveland. Like me, um, I lived on the street, 65th in Linwood. That's where I grew up mostly. Um, me, my little brother, my little sister, my friend, my, one of my best friends from down the street, Tariq, and like all the neighborhood kids, like we literally invented a two-team league. It was my team and it was Tariq's team and we had like a whole draft, and all this stuff. And we would play games in his backyard because he had a pretty big backyard. We would play games to like 100 and keep stats. So it was like- It's elaborate. <laughs> it was like dope. So like that's really um, where I first started playing with my little brother and then me and him got comfortable. He got um, bigger. Like he was not always looking me eye to eye. So it was it's different, but that's when me and his love for the game really like starts to like grow. Did it make it seem attainable? Like, cause I, I watched the clip where you were like, I'm gonna make it. To, you said you knew you were gonna make it to the NBA like 10, 11 years old, but did it make Not it attainable? Like, but like, when I say that, I don't mean it like, 
I'm that tough, I'm going to the NBA. I mean, like, the first time I sat down, and was like, I want to go to the NBA. I really want to do that. Yeah. I was like, before I was 10 years old. Did it seem, but like, to see your mom play at a high level, to see your dad play at a high level, does that make it seem like I can do that? Where opposed to if someone's never seen that before, never seen nobody, you know, make it to that level. You saw that. Did you know that because say, of that? Man, like, like, people don't understand how, like, big they were. Like, my favorite NBA basketball players were DeMarcus Cousins and Carmelo Anthony. But, like, my favorite basketball players, like, ever, my mom and my dad. Like, and I remember being a kid and one of my mom's old college teammates uh, put together, like, a like an old VHS tape of just highlights of my parents. And, like, when I tell you, like, I would play that tape, like, just seeing my dad get hyped, like, seeing my mom shoot mini pull-ups, like, that's where it's, like, that's when I decided, like, I want to shoot mini pull-ups. Mm -hmm. I want to make plays and get super hyped. Like, I want to I wanna do the things that I see them doing, and I think that really shaped my game. And, obviously, um, the longer I played basketball, my game took its own form. But those were <laughs> – my biggest inspirations um, mm. growing up, basketball-wise. 